Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the episode of our Pokemon Y Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we made our way up here to Glittering Cave, went through Amber Town, got a bunch of encounters. If you missed that, go ahead and check it out. But here we are today, out front of Glittering Cave again. We got to deal with Team Flare, do some stuff there. So if you guys are excited, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. I asked you guys last time to make it the most liked episode of Pokemon Y, and thank you all so much for the support. Let's see if we can blow last episode out of the water. Go ahead, drop a like. Let me know if you are enjoying this series. All right, but here we are. We got to do a quick team recap. I'm just going to show you guys the new members on the squad. Here we got Banana the Superior, which we caught last time. Own typo ability, Psybeam, Blue Flare, King Shield, and Silver Wind now. Then we got Boat the Lapras, Ground and Grass type, Seed Bomb, Drill Run, Volt Switch, and Fire Punch with Compound Eyes, which is super dope for Drill Run. Pretty sure it's just 100% accuracy now. And last but not least, we got Sunny here, the Espeon, Psybeam, Blue Flare, Clear Smog, and Icy Wind. Ice type, early bird ability. And then, of course, Rudolph, Sheik, and Frisbee. But that's the squad. I decided to swap out Duskull, Aerodactyl, and maybe another. I think we just had five mods at the end of the last episode. But I swapped them out. I figured Aerodactyl is pretty frail. Plus, it's also an electric type. And we already have Sauce, but no need to, you know, repeat typings. Let's just throw Espeon on. We got Spinda. Okay. This is where we got Superior last time. It seems like we got the best possible encounter. I mean, we've only seen Spinda, but come on. Come on, how many possible encounters could be in this place? We definitely got one of the best encounters for sure. For sure. But one thing I do want to say is thank you guys so much for the support on this series. If you aren't following me on TikTok, I've been posting a bunch of highlights from it on there. So if you guys want to check that out, if you want to see highlights from the series, go follow me over there at iSupra. It's the same as my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I've been having a ton of fun with that app. I love using it, and I've just been posting the highlights pretty much. Oh my god, I just ran into a Chansey with Shadow Tag. This is going to take forever. I went for a side beam and it did nothing. Please, please, Silverwind, do something. It's Out of all abilities that this Pokemon could have, of course it has Shadow Tag. We're going to be here for a minute. We are definitely going to be here for a minute. We got the burn. All right, this is all I wanted. Please be a good TM. <laughs> no way! No freaking way! Yo, Sinnoh is here? Maybe Sinnoh is here. Let's see. And everyone can learn it, of course. Amazing, bro. Maybe I should give this to, like, Lapras, because we have compound eyes. However, Lapras' attack is higher um, than its uh, special attack in this ROM. I think they changed Lapras' stats. That is super cool. I guess we got Roar of Time in the back. If we ever get a Dragon type, it is instantly going on that Pokemon. I will tell you that right now. All right, I think I found the spot for a second there. I thought I just made it all the way back to the entrance and I, that would have made me so depressed. It's happened to be in like Rock Tunnel before where I think I'm at the end of Rock Tunnel and I come out and it's just the entrance and that's top 10 most embarrassing things to ever happen to me on stream. Like that was so embarrassing. It's Rock Tunnel. It's been in the game since the very beginning. Like how can I mess it up that bad? But here we go, Team Flare Grunt. Got a low, please don't be mega. Okay, cool. Just. Always got to make sure they, they, they throw random mega Pokemon out all the time. And if I have to fight one, it's not going to be a good day. I'd be surprised if Drill Run wasn't 100% accuracy now. Because it's 95. And then plus Compound Eyes. Compound Eyes has to give more than 5%, right? Right? So I'm assuming it's 100%, which is dope, man. That is so sick. All right, second team Flare, what you got? Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Whoa! It's green. That's so sick. Okay, all right, that looks amazing, but this could be very bad, bro. Xerneas is way too strong. I cannot mess around with this Pokemon. Bro, that looks awesome. Finally, it's super effective. Goes for the Mud Shot. We resist that. All right, cool, cool, cool. I think we lucked out, but yo! Dude, that looks so... Oh, no. Okay. Thank you. I gave him an Oran Berry ahead of time. I was like, you know what? Let me be smart before I record this episode. Let me give my Pokemon some Oran Berries, all right? Let me think tactical here. There we go. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. You won't. You won't. You won't. Oh, damn. All right, what's the next Pokemon? Eveltal? Okay, I was going to say, we played against a... Uh, this is an Ultra Moon again. We fought a trainer who had a Xerneas. Well, I think he led with Evelto first. And then immediately after, sends out Xerneas. I'm like, what are the chances that this one dude has both Xerneas and Evelto? Like, Jesus Christ. Why is this dude not the champion? Why is he just in the middle of the game? Just chilling with two legendaries. All right, I think we can take this Braviary on. He just soaked me. Ugh. Ugh. 
That's gross. All right, bye, Braviary. And I think now we just have to do the double battle with Serena, which I'm not happy about. If you guys watched two episodes ago, you guys know exactly what happens when we double battle with Serena. We get destroyed, all right? There's a direct correlation between losing and teaming up with Serena, and I, I don't know how to feel about it. Um, I don't have any healing items, so the smart thing to do would be to go back and heal, but come on, if you've been watching my channel, that is, it's the smart thing, but it's also the safe thing. Sometimes you gotta risk it, and sometimes risking it makes it more entertaining. So that's what we're gonna do right now. No items, we're going into here. It's just a double battle. I don't think they have six Pokemon. Like, these aren't important trainers, I'm pretty sure, so. Let's just go ahead and run it. Let's just run it. If you want to make people in, t or in team player happy, why don't you just do that? But if you're going to go around threatening other people, we won't let you get away with it. All right, well, I don't know who this we is. Personally, I don't care. Duchess Grant and Punk Guy Grunt, or Duchess Grunt and Punk Guy Grunt. Corfish and Gulduck. All right, I think we can handle this. I think we can handle, whoa, that Corfish looks sick. That Corfish looks sick, bro. I wonder what Crawdon looks like. All right, so she's got a slacking. Serena. Why could you not have this last fight? It's randomized ability slacking. It's not gonna have Truant. Oh my God, Serena. Wow. So now you're just like, yeah, let me bring out the best Pokemon pretty much. That's insane. Just kill something. Please just kill something right here, Serena. I would love to see it. Hex. All right, well, she killed something. Not the way I thought she was going to, but it worked. Eh, whatever. Light screen. Is this a tactical slacking? <laughs> this is a setup slacking right here? All right. I mean, Serena's got her own plays, man. Serena's going in VGC. Miss ball. Serena's on track. What is she? Psychic gem, missed ball slacking. I want whatever Serena's smoking. That's probably some good shit. What? Why would she ever do? Why would you ever do that? <laughs> Bro, Serena's AI is so awful. I, someone needs to have, I need to have a conversation with whoever programmed Serena's AI and just, and just ask them why. I think I'm gonna go, not that it matters, obviously. I think I'm gonna go Jaw Fossil. I don't know. I'm kind of just feeling Jaw Fossil right now. I wish there was a way for me to check both, but obviously that'd be cheating. So I'm just gonna take the Jaw Fossil, all right? Hopefully I made the right choice here, and if I didn't, that's that really sucks, but I think we're all right. There is a custom texture Absol on this route, and I only know that because before I recorded, I went back and healed, which I didn't need to do because the lady literally right up here heals you, so good job, Supra. But let's see, come on, Absol. Oh, it just showed up! When does that ever happen? When does it happen where I'm like, yo, I need to show you guys this, and it actually shows up. Look at that, I mean, we've seen it before. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same texture that's in Ultra Moon, but wow, man. Imagine if that was our encounter. That's my favorite Pokemon right there. What a good little boy. Yeah, people ask me that all the time. What's your favorite Pokemon? Exhibit A. Do I need, oh, let's just do it. Okay, I was gonna say, do I need to have all, or five Pokemon, but we'll just do it anyway, so we don't have to risk it. All right, we also have that Snorlax encounter. I def we haven't gotten that yet, right? I don't think so, so. If we see a route that we wanna get a reroll on, Snorlax is right there. There's no rule that says that when we have to do it. All right, our fossil encounter. Turn back into a Pokemon. Is this a Tyrant? Take good care of it. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way! There's no way it's another fossil. <laughs> it's just a shield on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? All right, well, Shield On is not claimed, so I'm gonna go ahead and just name this Big Head and we'll call it a day. Wow, I cannot believe the chances that we just revive another fossil Pokemon from the fossil. I, come on, man. It could have been anything else. All right, well, it's holding the Lustrous Orb. What if this evolves into a Palkia and it, this is just foreshadowing? They're like, yo, trust me on this Shield On. It's gonna be a Palkia. That'd be just Absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you what. Honestly, I'm really not sure if this route changes. I think it just goes straight to Silage. Yeah, I guess it does. Well, that's fine too, because Silage is still a new encounter as well as the route to the north, so let's just go do that. All right, well, I guess we can start right here. Honestly, just let's just throw the rod. See if we can get a nice encounter for Silage. We should have enough Pokeballs, barring it's not like a legendary or something, but come on, come on. It, no way it's gonna be a legendary, right? No way we're getting a legendary. We're not even gonna get a fish, it seems like. Can I just, can I fish something? All these fishermen out here, it seems like they're doing decent and I can't even get a nibble. Please. 
Finally, all right. Fishing encounter for silage. Oh, Golurk, okay. That is really solid. That is a very solid encounter. All right, can I catch it though? That's the real question. Psybeam, don't be super effective. Nice. Um, I could try and hypnosis it. I was gonna say, maybe I just chuck a ball, but let's hypnosis it. It's a big Pokemon. Those are usually a little harder to catch. Yo, what is it with this episode of me getting soaked? Can I go Can I go 20 minutes without getting soaked? Can I change to a water type? That okay? That, that good with y'all? Okay, but sweet, nice. All right, please stay in this great ball. Make it easy for me, buddy. Make it easy, and what do we name this? That is a that is a good question. I don't think anyone has a goal reclaimed. Which, by the way, I didn't mention this earlier. If you guys do want to claim a Pokemon on the channel, you just gotta become a member for as low as $2 a month. There's a bunch of different tiers. If you want to do that, make sure you join the Discord and let us know, and we can, uh, or let us know you became a member, and we can uh, get you your claimed Pokemon stuff, yeah. All right, there we go. We got Golurk Easy W. Yeah, let me just triple check. Golurk. Yep, yeah, Golurk is not claimed. All right, so what are we naming this? It's Water and Rock type. I'm just gonna name this. <laughs> we named our last Pokemon Big Hedge. Should I just name this Big Boy? I'll name him. I'll name him Iron. Iron. It's like the Iron Giant. There we go. Iron. That's his real name. Iron, not Iron. It's Iron. All right, let's head north real quick, uh, get an encounter, and then we'll come back, check out Golurk, and whatever we catch here, hopefully. <laughs> gotta catch it first, obviously. This encounter, or this route, seems like it's always got good Pokemon. Decent Pokemon, not the best Pokemon at all. All right, um, clear smog. Let me see if I can just do a little bit of damage. That looks like a little bit of damage. That looks like just a little bit of damage. And now I can't attack. All right, I'm going for a great ball. Just stay in. Be great. Be great. It matches. Same color as you, bro. The carpet <laughs> matches the drapes. All right, please. Not even close. All right, I'm going straight to Gardevoir. I didn't want to bring this out, man. I didn't want to have to do it to you. But here's Gardevoir, okay? I didn't want to have to do it. And something I've noticed, bro. Ferrothorn is getting hella overleveled. It's like level 20. This happens every episode! Every episode! I just can't put it to sleep! It's got magic bounce out of all abilities. It's not even a joke anymore. Like, you guys get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm going for a side beam. I don't understand how this works, man. I waste three great balls. I took one Pokeball, and he has higher health now because of Leech Seed, and it catches immediately. I love Pokemon. What a great game. But there we go. We got Golduck. Uh, actually a really solid Pokemon. I will still advocate for that. Uh, get rid of Clear Smog. Um, but what do we name a Golduck? I might just name it a Headache. Honestly, my name him Quack. I don't think it's claimed. Golduck. It is not. It is not. All right, Psychic and Fighting, which is actually pretty sick. If it was Psychic and Water, I'd be like, damn, like, they fixed the typing. Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just name it Headache. Here's actual silage. Let me get up there. I will take a free super potion. We have no money right now, guys. We are so broke. Anything helps. Like, <laughs> seriously, anything helps. Oh, dear. Uh, the race is over, and I took first place. Feel bad you missed it. Allow me to give you strength. I was just about to ask, where do you get strength in this game? So, looks like I should just not open my mouth anymore. You need to use strength first. All right, well, once it be Grant, we can come back and do that. That's crazy, man. I really thought this was a new encounter. Wow, so connecting cave. Actually, you know what? I... Are you kidding me? I can't swap this Pokemon as Arena Trap? You gotta be shitting me, bro. There is no way that this just keeps happening. All right, so at first I really wasn't sure if we'd be taking on the gym today, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. I don't think you have to take out all the trainers anyways. This really shouldn't take too long. We might as well try to get our second badge because we've waited long enough for this. I'm not going to make y'all wait one more episode to fight Grant. It's Grant, all right? He's not the coolest gym leader ever. This isn't, this isn't climactic at all, all right? It's Grant, let's be honest. All right, well, that did not take long at all to make it to our boy Grant. The team is all ready. I'm just going to lead off with Sunny. It doesn't really matter what we lead off with, I guess, and... Let's just go ahead and do it, man. We've been waiting long enough for this gym fight. Time to take on the second gym leader, Grant. I think he's only... Oh, no, he's got six Pokemon. I was about to say, he's only got two, so we're fine. But that is... That's not what's going on in the randomizer. All right. Six Pokemon. Let's see what he's leading off with. Grant got a Remoraid. Okay, well. Not very intimidating, <laughs> I will say. Pretty easy start. Let me just go for a little Icy Wind, all right? Let's see how this works against a little Remoraid. He's level 30! Oh my god! 
I just saw his level, guys. This is not no bueno. This is no bueno. I guess, yeah, I never even thought of that. He has two Pokemon, so his levels are a little bit higher. But now that he has six Pokemon, all they're just scaled to his normal level. Oh, this is not good. Thank God Ferrothorn's like level 28. I don't feel bad about being overleveled at all now. We're not even overleveled. <laughs> Alright, Dewblade is here. I'm just gonna, like I said, same Icy Wind. There's not really a point in not going for it. It's Stab at first. It's probably our best option. Turn one. That's perfect. Happy hour. All right. Damn, let me take a sip. Cheers, brother. Cheers. All right, another icy win. Definitely going to do it. Waste your hyper potions. That is completely fine with me, sir. That is completely fine with me. Go for another one. Go for, go for another one. Waste it. All right, two Pokemon down. Going good so far. Honestly, Dewblade's really scary. Especially if I had like an Eviolite. That would, that would not have gone down as easy. All right, Sunny's level 27. Perfect. Learn a move. Damn. We just need, like, Ice Beam, and we'll be set, bro. We will actually be set. Night Slash on Rudolph. Sauce Buck is a physical attacker. Not a, not a, right? I don't know. Hopefully, I just didn't make a bad decision. It's not Stab, anyways. We don't need Draining Kiss, so it's whatever. All right, Venomoth. I don't need to solo this whole gym. Um, let's go to Boat. Let's let Boat do this, all right? Let's rock the Boat a little bit. Venomoth, I'm just going to Drill Run. See how much this does. Everymon has Soak. What is this? I've never seen this move used twice in a playthrough. We've seen it three times this episode. I, I'm i genuinely confused. All right, let me Seed Bomb now. Scald. Not the smartest play. <laughs> I will say that, not the smartest play. Going for Soak, making me a water type, and then using a water type move. It just seems a little counterproductive, but hey, Grant, you're the gym leader, not me, bro. Not me. I'll let you do your thing. Venomoth goes down. All right, three more Pokemon to go. What's next? Arkin, which is actually pretty scary. Um, or more so Archaeops, but Arkin is way better in randomizers like this because it doesn't have to feed us as its ability. It's just straight up Arkin the entire uh, HP bar. All right, Psybeam. Does nothing. I honestly meant to go for Silverwind, but whatever. Let me try this now. If Psybeam's not very effective, he could be Steel, actually. Let me try this. Smelling Salts. Come on, blue flare. Be super effective. Be super effective. Well, it's not super effective, but I will take it. All right, please just hit one more blue flare. There we go, baby. All right, two more to go. We are kind of cruising this gym battle right now. We're not even over leveled. We are under leveled. Severely, actually. Chespin, dude, this team is weak, bro. Who, who assigned you gym leader? Who, who made you gym leader, bro? I do love this Chespin skin, though. Look how beautiful it is. Sorry, I have to blue flare you in the face. All right, Chespin definitely goes down after this. We already know it's Steel type. Oh my god. Okay, maybe it's not Steel until it evolves into Quilladin. Wow, I spoke way too soon. All right, well, now it's dead. There we go. <laughs> now it's dead. We just got one more Pokemon to take. Watch it be a Mega. Watch it be a Mega or a Legendary or something. What you got, Grant? Care. The complete opposite. All right, well... Unless I somehow throw this match to a Carablast, looks like we beat Grant without losing a Pokemon, which is just amazing. And Claire, cool. So as long as he doesn't go for like a close combat, should be good. And we are. Nice, so we have officially beaten Grant. We got our second gym match of the Pokemon Y Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. That is, that is absolutely clean, bro. That is clean, because now the game goes a little bit more fast paced. Like it's not too hard to get to Shaller. I'm pretty sure that's where Karina's uh, gym is. We get to Shaller, then after that, it's like, it starts with a, a Cheshire Town? What's the one with Ramos? I have no idea. But yeah, the game kind of picks up after, uh, after this point, which I do like. The beginning of X and Y, pretty slow, however, Great games, like, once you get past it. All right, well, I'm just trying to think. When's our next encounter? I think it's after Geosenge Town, which kind of sucks. That's pretty far. But close to then, we also get a free Mega at Shaller City. After we beat Karina and we get the Mega Lucario, it's going to be randomized to another Mega Pokemon. So it's going to be another Pokemon that can Mega, which is sick that we could get our Absol there, potentially, which would be amazing. Um... I think in uh, in the three-way, I got a Medicham, which was actually really, really sick, because Pure Power is such a good ability. Randomized abilities in this, but you get the picture. You get the picture. Well, that is going to do it, though, for this episode of Pokemon Y. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you guys during the next episode. Bye.
at the next episode. I mean, obviously you'll catch me during it, but whatever. Take care, y'all.